Good Saturday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime, as the title says at the top of the screen. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, if you have anything you'd like to see us feature on here, we try to be as timely as possible, severe weather, winter weather, ast astronomical type stuff, but if there's something you'd like to see on here, please let me know at austin.onik at wreg.com. We'll do our best to feature it on here. Forecast at the bottom of your screen. Screen. Temperatures back in the 90s today with light northwesterly winds and partly to mostly cloudy skies across much of the area for today. Unfortunately for tonight, more clouds out there and low temperatures only going back to around, which way am I pointing here? There's, there we go, towards about the 70s or so, and that's going to be about as cool as it gets. A few showers and thunderstorms yesterday, but as of right now, by the time we record this early on Saturday morning, we don't really have a lot of activity going on at this point, but we will be watching for more stray thunderstorms to be popping up throughout the afternoon so if you have outdoor activities please make certain that you have that umbrella packed away and remember when thunder roars go indoors a nice sturdy building is going to be your best protection from lightning when you're out and about Rhodes College in Memphis early this morning temperatures back into the lower 70s with a nice view from their weather underground camera from uh, the area around the physics department building around the Ole Miss campus at the track and field center a few joggers and strollers out earlier this morning but not that much going on at this time in Oxford Mississippi Sunshine filtered with a few clouds at the St. Jude K Research Camera in downtown Memphis and showing again a fairly quiet campus for this morning and the Power Center Academy in Memphis, mainly blue skies and a few clouds out on the horizon, but more clouds are going to be expected as the atmosphere gets stirred up a little bit later on. Countdown to autumn, believe it or not, we have less than a month ago, 26 days, one hour, and about 32 minutes or so as we get into the course of the rest of August and the early part of September later on this week. Hot and humid today, so I'm thinking the cough temp dex is going to be around the ice cool frothiness uh, in and around the area. Once again, remember that your coffee, your business, but this tongue-in-cheek look at what the forecast should be for your coffee to help cool you off instead of heat you up but again your your taste buds your business if you burn yourself or free get a brain freeze that's entirely your business as well you have been warned and it's your responsibility so there as of right now we're going to be looking again at some chances of showers and thunderstorms we'll take a look at the forecast no earthquakes to report within the last 24 hours courtesy of the united states geological survey and the center for earthquake research and information at the university of memphis don't forget the sunblock today it'll be at a seven fairly high for saturday and also looking at a 7 again for Sunday. Clouds will interfere with some of the sunshine, so it won't be entirely sunshiny and not entirely cloudy either. But when the sun is out, good possibility of sunburn in a very short amount of time. Good news again for local area uh, vegetation. We're not seeing anything in the way of major problems. Fire danger remains low at this time. And with all the rainfall we've received, that's definitely good news. No burn bans to report in any of the Mid-South counties. And hopefully it stays that way. Again, Tennessee does not issue burn bans except in extraordinary circumstances. You do need a burn permit at certain times of the year. If you'd like to know more, contact the Tennessee Division of Forestry, and they'll be able to tell you more about that. High temperature in Memphis yesterday, 88 degrees. Not too shabby. That's just below normal for this time of the year. Meanwhile, the hottest temperature in the United States, 111 degrees as it has been for the last couple of weeks in Death Valley, California, so not quite as bad out there. Sunrise this morning at 629, just a little bit earlier tomorrow, close to 629 and almost 628, and we're losing daylight steadily down two minutes tomorrow, 13 hours and one minute worth of sunlight. Yesterday, a low of 75 and a high of 88. Record high today, 105 set back in 1943, and a record low set two years later of 58 degrees. Normal is 70 72 and 91. Fraction of an inch worth of precipitation yesterday. We're well ahead for the month, about three inches ahead of normal. And for the year, we're approaching 15 inches above normal. So we're doing pretty doggone good on rainfall this time. Looking good out there. Moon today will be up and down at about 1.52 a.m. to 4.11 p.m. It's a waning crescent, 24.4% of full. Hopefully you get a chance to see that in the early morning hours. Some spectacular views out there. And also a good conjunction of Venus and Jupiter later on tonight. Hopefully the clouds will part for that already did that. Don't know why that's showing up again. Apologies for that. Forecast for the rest of the day today. Stray showers and thunderstorms possible into parts of the Mid-South. Again, by the time we hit early this afternoon, we may be looking at the 
uh, possibility of some scattered showers in and around parts of the area, but just not looking at that much, at least not compared to yesterday. The computer models are putting a few stray showers and thunderstorms in there by the time we hit early this afternoon, and much of that should stick around into around News Channel 3 at 5 and 6 and possibly through sunset, but then afterwards around News Channel 3 at 10 and then heading overnight, chances of rainfall are gone, and by daybreak tomorrow morning, numbers back into the lower 70s or so. Seven-day forecast, humid and warm. This forecast is going to seem very familiar as we go through as we go through it we'll see chances of showers and thunderstorms mainly in the afternoon and evening and temperatures for highs back in the lower 90s now by Monday morning we could see an increased chance of a shower or thunderstorm around drive time and that could spell some problems for the kids out there so definitely something to keep in mind keep it tuned to the forecast throughout the rest of the weekend we'll keep you advised on that upper 80s to lower 90s temperatures dip a bit as we head toward Thursday and Friday and as we go toward the Labor Day holiday weekend next weekend running out of August and into September return to showers and thunderstorms after a brief break from the rainfall Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And for the holiday itself, grilling outdoors or traveling. Could be some showers and thunderstorms to interfere with plans there. So again, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more information there. National Dog Day yesterday. Thanks to Kathy Stanfield for sending in a nice picture of Scout, an unnamed but exceptionally cute pup from Jana Welch, 901. Thank you very much for sending that in. And also a nice picture of Max from Kendall Whitby. If you'd like to send in pictures of weather across the Mid-South. We'd love to see them. Aonic underscore WRAG3 or at Facebook.com slash AustinAonic WRAG3. Also on Instagram, also on Google+, Plus, also on numerous other places. So make certain you stay tuned for more on that with social media. Also keep track of the forecast throughout the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. A great opportunity to keep updated on the weather there and also stay tuned for more on the forecast bright and early monday through friday but with yahoo sports radio am 7 30 monday through friday from 6 to 9 a.m with bob and josh also don't forget about our weather app it's available at the app store just search wreg another check of your forecast again on air coming up on news channel 3 at 5 6 and 10 later on tonight severe weather at this time again doesn't look like too much of anything really to worry about across the area there could be some isolated severe weather Weather and maybe some flash flooding with the amount of rainfall that we've got across much of the area. So that, again, could be a bit of a problem into later on. Maybe the possibility of some fog into tomorrow morning as well. We'll be watching that with a lot of interest, so definitely want to stay tuned there. And also, if you're a forecast into around the Labor Day holiday weekend, we've got a lot to talk about on News Channel 3 coming up tonight at 5, 6, and 10, so stay tuned there. Also, again, don't forget austin.onic at wrg.com and contact me if you have any questions, concerns, complaints if you have to, and any suggestions would be most welcome for whatever you want to see on this weather blog. We'll do our best to feature it. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. Thanks for joining me for today's edition of Weather Overtime from the News Channel 3 Studios.